Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to At Home with Nicole, but I'm not at home. I'm still in Florida with my uh, project, the home uh, condo uh, makeover, uh, not even a makeover, it was just a design because it's uh, my client, she just purchased this um, as a vacation home. Uh, she actually lives out of state and so um, she met me here for the last couple days so that we can get some furniture into place, get some decor in the place and make it um, her haven away from home. So, of course, being in Florida and right on the water, it's beautiful, um, we went with the coastal design. And so we were lucky in the amount of time that we had and um, the resources that we had in the area to get the furniture delivered, to get furniture that we uh, really, really wanted. My client really ended up with what she wanted and to um, get the design all in place. We do now still have pictures to get on the wall and different things like that, but um, that you know that's a work in progress and that'll that'll come along. But for the most part, it's very comfortable, it's very cozy, and I'm happy with how it turned out. But of course, I could not leave without doing a video for all my viewers. So, in saying that, above this table is a chandelier, and it needs a cover for the the chain. I think that would add a lot to the table. I think it would be a beautiful um, accent for it. So I'm going to make her a cover for the chain. You can purchase them from like Pottery Barn for about $20, but you can make it for half the price. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I went out and I found my local fabric store in the area, which I looked up and found one, and I purchased um, the fabric and Velcro, and that's totally all you need. So I want to do a tutorial to show you how to make a cover for your chain, and that way if you want to do it, you can do it. Now since the decor here is coastal, it's um, we got a lot of naturals and whites, it's very light and airy, then her cord to coordinate with her table is going to be white. So I was able to find some just pure white um, fabric, and what you need is you only need in the fabric to be about four inches wide. So I got a, them to cut me a quarter and then I cut it in half. And that way, in case you have a mistake, which this is a no mistake project, trust me on that. And this is a no sew project, which is even better. But um, for the simple fact, I just got a little more just in case something happened. But you only need a four inches, four inches wide of your fabric. And... It needs to be the length needs to be double what your chain is because it's going to scrunch up and so basically double what your chain is and four inches wide okay let's get to it because it's so simple it's going to take a second to do well, not a second but it's just it's simple so basically what you do is you want to take one end of the fabric and you want to fold it over and I'm sorry get a, the velcro you need to get as much velcro as the length of your fabric. So if your the chain on your chandelier is four inches, I mean four inches, four feet long, then you need to get eight feet of fabric, four inches wide, and eight feet of Velcro. Okay. So basically what you do is you fold the fabric over on one edge about a half an inch. And then you take your Velcro, one piece, it doesn't matter which end of the Velcro, and you secure it down so that your fold is basically secure. So I have my Velcro pressing down to keep my um, fold over down. And then you just do that for the length of the um, fabric. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do the whole length of my fabric with the Velcro. Then you take the other side with the other piece of Velcro, the, the opposite side, and you do the same thing. Fold it in two inches. Put your Velcro down so that it, it goes down the entire length. Okay? And so I'm going to do this. And then I will be back. And we will move on from there. Because I don't want you to have to sit through me doing this whole thing. And then if you want to do it yourself, you can do it yourself. Um, I want to show you a picture real quick, though, while I'm doing this, of what the actual finished... Um, product will look like. So here is my completed chandelier cover. Also, if you go to my blog, I will have pictures of the process, so you'll have um, closer detail pictures of the process, but um, I definitely want to share this with you because it's just such a simple project and it adds so much to your table. So um, check out this picture here and I'll be right back.
drying bag. As you can see, I have my Velcro on my piece of fabric. I used the hook and the loop side. And as you know, Velcro has a hook and a loop side, which causes it to, when you put them together, they stick. And so one side has one and the other side has the other. With the Velcro I have, you need to put a light, warm heat on it to activate the adhesive to the fabric. I did that and voila, that's all I needed to do. I now am finished with my piece. Don't worry about the rough edges there on the end because what you will do is when you adhere it onto your chandelier, you just tuck those in and you never see them. And so now I'm going to take the piece, working from the top of my chandelier cord from the ceiling, wrap it around and it's in adhere the Velcro, working my way down my chandelier cord and then scrunching up the fabric as you see in the picture here. And you're done. That's it. A very simple, beautiful accent for your chandelier cord um, and chain and it covers it great to use silks or something fancy during the holidays to give a nice little touch if you get tired of it just take it apart it's nothing permanent about it a under ten dollar no so project i love it that is the perfect project for me so please definitely go out and get you a piece of fabric and just try it and coordinate it with your table and see how you like it it's just again another easy accent for your home and i hope you've enjoyed thanks for watching please be sure to subscribe and have a beautiful day my friend this is Nicole signing off.